Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. The budget battle continues in Sacramento and the Citizens Redistricting Commission has wrapped up its findings. And with us now to discuss more about these issues and more is Gloria Negrete McLeod, his senator in uh, our state. Hi, how are Thank you? Thank you so much for being here. Um, so what is the budget about right now? Is there very much room for negotiation and movement? Or well, are we gonna have negotiations are ongoing. Um, the Senate needs at least two Republican members to come on so that we can send the budget on to the governor and the assembly needs the same number too. And then we could send it on to the governor. What tools do they really have to negotiate a budget uh, short of raising taxes or cutting any more, you know? Well, yeah, as you know, we started with a $26 billion hole. In February, the, the Senate and the assembly cut it down to about 12. And since then, the revenue has come in, which has been much higher than anybody anticipated, but we still have a $10.8 billion hole. So that is what they're negotiating now, how to come to an agreement to cut that hole down and to then put a budget forward. So what is on the table to negotiate for those small increments of movement? Well, since I'm not on the negotiating team, mm -hmm. those are kind of privy to the speaker, mm -hmm. the pro tem, the governor, and in the, in the Senate there are three or four, depending who you listen to, uh, Republican senators that are, are, are negotiating what they feel will move the budget forward. And then it goes over to the Assembly. The governor was constrained from raising taxes earlier, but he's still... Well, he wasn't constrained. What he did is he made uh, a political statement when he was running that he would not raise taxes without the approval of the, of the electorate. Only constrained by his words then. By his words. Only constrained by his words, but he's kind of sticking to his word that he won't go unless the electorate then then votes for it. Now, in consideration of the increase in revenue, tax revenue, uh, since he even proposed, uh, started talking about taxes, uh, do you think he should uh, raise taxes to cover the budget shortfall? Or well, he should, should raise revenue in, in the best way that he sees fit. I think maybe he misspoke a little bit, that's my opinion, only mine, that perhaps he should be able to do it without uh, the vote of the electorate where he could, where it's, where it's feasible. Okay. Uh, the Citizens Redistricting Commission has mm -hmm. wrapped up its reevaluation of where to draw the district lines throughout the state. What effect do you think this will have on the citizens of the state? Well, you know, uh, the voters voted for this because they, they bought the line that it would make more moderate districts. Mm -hmm. But in some districts, it's going to be the same thing. In other districts, it may bring a little bit of more moderate candidates. But by and large, it's going to be the same thing. But perhaps then... Why do you say it's going to be the same thing? Though? Well, in, in certain districts, let's say in Los Angeles, a Republican would never, ever win there because it's 95% Democrat. So how are you going to get a Republican in there? You just are not. In Orange County, you've got uh, Republican voters. They're not going to vote for a Democrat. So in that essence, that will stay the same. Okay. Um, moving quickly to another topic that you've been involved with closely over the years, the Rialto water cleanup. Tell us the status of that, because there's the percolate in the, the groundwater. The perchlorate is still there. It, perchlorate is a contaminant mm -hmm. uh, caused by munition. Uh, uh, it's a liquid that makes munitions uh, blow up and go up. Well, uh, we just, uh, well, last year we secured some money for a, a new wellhead cleaner. And so it's going, it's already, we broke ground and it's going up. Okay, and when does it start? A well, they broke ground, so now they have to put it, it, it in. And the building yeah. is going in. Okay, thank you very much, Gloria. You're for welcome. Being here. Always good to see you. And thank you for tuning in. More HLN next.